upstairs off the back right? Well, I took one earlier. I just took one and that one, left, that one left one extra for what Kathy taught. I thought just in case that I left one extra, they can see off the read.
at the mics now. Test, one, two, test, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, test, test. One, two, three, test, test, test. Test, test, one, two, testing, one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three, four, testing, one, two, three, test.
Test, one, two, test, test.
Good afternoon. And welcome to the 17th Blessed Trinity Catholic High School commencement, honoring the members of the class of 2019. You may visit the Blessed Trinity website to watch the recording of today's graduation, as well as to learn how to order a professional photograph of each student receiving the diploma. At this time, we ask that you please silence your cell phones and that you refrain from entering the aisles during the ceremony as it will interfere with the quality of the video. It is permissible to video or take photographs from your seat. We wish to extend our thanks to Mr. Bob Tolton, Mr. Jason Potteres, Dr. Brent Colliers, and Mrs. Joy Clift for providing the technical support needed for this graduation and for the TV broadcast over in the theater. As the graduates, faculty, and distinguished guests enter, please stand.
And now for our invocation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, we rejoice in the faith that draws us together this day. In love, we ask you to bless our blessed Trinity family gathered here in your name. We thank you for all your manifold graces, signs of your loving presence among us. Please send your special blessings down upon our graduates and prosper the work of their hands. Fill their hearts with gratitude and joy as they celebrate this milestone of graduation. Let your guidance, encouragement, and love be their constant companion in strength. We ask you to bless their families, without whose sacrifices and love this day would never have been possible. We ask you to bless all the administration, staff, and faculty of Blessed Trinity High School in the Archdiocese of Atlanta, that under the loving guidance and obedience to you, they may continue to guide souls to always live in peace and harmony in the world in which they live and move always according to your will. Bless also all of our benefactors whose faith and generosity have been an indispensable support to all our efforts. Heavenly Father, keep us one in the love that has sealed our lives. Help us to live as one family the gospel we profess. Let the spirit you sent upon your church to begin the teaching of the gospel continue to work in the world through the hearts of these graduates and of all who believe. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon. I too would like to welcome all of you to the 17th Blessed Trinity Catholic High School commencement, honoring the members of the class of 2019. I will now introduce those seated on the stage in the front row behind me. Beginning on my far left, Mr. Ramon Villacura, Assistant Principal, Ms. Susan Dorner, Assistant Principal, Mr. David Burnett, Science Teacher, Dr. Connie Urbanski, Associate Superintendent of Catholic Schools, Dr. Diane Starkovich, Superintendent of Catholic Schools, Ms. Kathy Lancaster, Principal, Mrs. Katie Peterson Warner, Alumna and Guest Speaker, Father Bob Frederick, Chaplain, James Mancini, Valedictorian, Gabriella Berry, Salutatorian, Jack Milani, President of the Senior Class. Seated behind them are the faculty of Blessed Trinity, each of whom is wearing a hood bearing the colors of their college. I am honored to be able to take this opportunity to formally introduce the class of 2019 to the Blessed Trinity community on the day of their graduation. I am proud to let everyone in attendance know that this class has undoubtedly lived out our mission statement. To the graduates, you have accomplished a great deal in this building, and you have had your faith tested and strengthened over your four years here. In three weeks at Mass, you will hear the familiar story of Pentecost. If you recall, the apostles were gathered in a room. Wind and flame filled the room, and the Holy Spirit descended upon them. The apostles were given the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but that's not the most important part of the story. The apostles went out. They used those gifts to help them fulfill their mission to preach the gospel to all nations. On that first Pentecost, they converted and baptized over 3,000 people. If they had stopped after they received the gifts, we would not have our church today. God is calling each of you, as he called the apostles, to take the gifts he has given you and use those gifts to serve others while bringing people closer to him. Now I cannot help but think about what you may do for others after you leave Blessed Trinity. You are truly a class that has the potential to have a dramatic, positive, global impact. I am excited to know that you are our future. You have the character, the capacity, the drive, and the ability to make this world a better place. I, for one, cannot wait to watch this unfold. May God bless all of you and your families today and always. And remember, once a titan, always a titan. It is now my pleasure to invite Ms. Kathy Lancaster to address the graduates. Parents, today is a day of bewilderment, a day of joy, and a day of pride. Bewilderment because the parents gathered here asking, where did all the years go? 
that strange feeling when you cannot account for the many days of parenting your son or daughter, all those hectic mornings, all those doctor visits, all those important milestones, the growing pains and growing up, the countless pep talks about friendship, about schoolwork, about goodness, and about life. It is impossible to relate all the moments that go into raising a child. What a parent is left with is the question, where did all the years go? I feel much the same way. This is my amazing class of 2019. My second year at Blessed Trinity was the day your child stepped into this school as a freshman. And now I ask myself, where did the years go? And I wonder, what life lessons did we forget to teach them? What might the next lesson be if only we had one more single day? But from this day forward, you as their parents, me as their principal, and my colleagues as their teachers, our relationship with them changes. We can offer advice, we can encourage, but now the choices are theirs to make. Today is also a day of joy and pride. Joy for the parents and families looking on with pride as their senior steps across the stage to receive a diploma. So confident, so mature, so brimming with youth and boundless opportunity, and the utter disbelief that today, the end of four long years has come so quickly. From the day this school opened in the fall of 2000, one theme has stood the test of time, loving parents. This school is so successful because of you. We thank you for all you have done for us. You have enriched the legacy of this school in a thousand different ways. To our amazing class of 2019, I spoke to you as your assistant principal on the first day of your junior year. On that morning, I told you to make a difference, and you have delivered. Academically, in the fields of science, language, mathematics, and history, you have distinguished yourselves so completely that colleges and universities across two continents are offering you millions of dollars to join their freshman classes. Collectively, you have achieved the highest GPA in school history. Artistically, you have participated in 360 individual performances in our theater. You projected the importance of artistic endeavor in your visual compositions and choreography, in your melodies and dramatic performances. You left a lasting impression upon the students who follow in your footsteps. Athletically, over the past four years, you have carried on the tradition of excellence in athletics. You won 10 state championships and numerous individual state championships. You broke school records, filling our trophy cases. Spiritually, you have fulfilled 100% of your service goal as seniors. You volunteered at home and abroad in four years, you performed more than 38,000 service hours, and in doing so, you made the world a better place. You made a difference. Applause 
Now your journey continues. Soon you will find yourself in a different place, living more independently than the freshman you ever thought possible. The decisions will be yours to make. Alex de Tocqueville, a Frenchman who traveled extensively throughout the United States in the 19th century, documenting our emergence as a new nation, once wrote, nothing is more wonderful than the art of being free, but nothing is harder to learn than how to use that freedom. A sound education, a Catholic education, teaches its pupils to become artists of freedom, to articulate one's intellectual curiosities, to participate in artistic endeavor, to strengthen one's character through athletic competition, and of course, to inform your art of freedom with a spirituality and an abiding faith that will guide you no matter how far from home you might find yourself. Take what you've learned here at Blessed Trinity and become that artist of freedom de Tocqueville envisioned. Thank you and Godspeed to our amazing class of 2019. Thank you. The salutatorian of the class of 2019, by virtue of her academic standing in her class with a 101 grade point average, is Gabriella Berry, an outstanding student in many areas. Ella was named the top student in the school in the study of pre-calculus, multivariable calculus, her excellence in mathematics led her to be selected by the math department to receive the September Harkey Memorial Award in 2018, and during her 11th grade year, she was selected to participate in the prestigious Governor's Honor Program in the area of mathematics. Her outstanding achievements in science were recognized this year when she received both the Volta Award for Excellence in AP Physics C and the Master Galileo Award for Excellence in Biology, Chemistry, and Physics at the most complex levels. Ella was named the top student in the computer-aided design and engineering. She received the Computer Geek of the Year Award in 2019. This year, Ella was recognized as both a National Merit Scholarship finalist, placing her in the top 1% of American high school seniors and as a National Hispanic Scholar. She is the co-star student, which reflects excellence in academics and on the SAT examination. Ella has been a gold, silver, and bronze medalist on the National Spanish Exam. She scored a perfect 36 on the ACT, and she has been recognized with the Georgia Certificate of Merit. Ella has made the summa cum laude honor roll every semester of her high school career. She serves as the secretary of the National Honor Society, and she is an active member of the National English Honor Society. Her achievements in math continue through her involvement with Mu Alpha Theta Society, for which she is the BT chapter president. Her musical talents are recognized through her membership in the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Ella is a two-sport athlete, having competed in both cross country and track and field. She has also been an active member of the academic team, the Interact Club, and the Spanish Club. Giving back to her community is an important part of Ella's life, as she has devoted countless hours of her time 
to various organizations, such as the Foster Care Support Foundation and the Habitat for Humanity. Ella will attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the fall. I am pleased to introduce to you the salutatorian of the class of 2019, Gabriella Lee Berry. Welcome all to the Blessed Trinity Gym, where you have gathered today to celebrate all of our seniors' accomplishments. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Dr. Starkovich, the Superintendent of Catholic Schools, and Dr. Urbanski, the Associate Superintendent of Catholic Schools, for joining us today in our celebration. And for all of our seniors, congratulations. We have all put forth tremendous effort in our time here at Blessed Trinity, a place where we have la learned laughed, and sometimes cried, a place where we made friends, memories, and experiences that have been indelibly marked in our lives forever. The first thing I would like to say is how delighted I am to be here with you all today, speaking not only as your salutatorian, but as your peer, your classmate, and your friend. We have all learned much, not just from the textbooks we have read, but also from the situations we have experienced pieces of information that will be carried on with us to the next chapter of our lives. We learn things like how the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and how dangerous a faculty basketball game can be. <laughs> but along with that, we learn that it's okay to ask for help. We learn the importance of supporting each other and the importance of a single kind act or a helping hand. And most importantly, we learned that while we shouldn't speed in the school parking lot, classes start at 745, and sometimes it's 744, and rules are meant to be broken, right? <laughs> Regardless of all the things that we've done here, we would not have been able to make it through if it were not for our parents, faculty, teachers, and peers that have supported us through our journey. I would personally like to thank teachers like Mrs. Muller and Mrs. Clark for always being there when I need it, along with my parents and Aunt Michelle for inspiring me in many ways. Thank you for supporting me through my journey. And indeed, a journey it was. Each of you have been the heroes to your own journey. High school, as it turns out, share some parallels with the hero's journey as we first ventured out from the known world of our middle schools into the unknown when we were gathered together in the theater for our Blessed Trinity orientation on the first day. When we arrived here, we were, similar to our wayward hero, not without help. We found help in our teachers, our coaches, and our mentors. And with their guidance, we braved many challenges, whether it was a hard test, a difficult game, or simply an awkward social situation. And these challenges may have brought disappointment failure, and loss. Yet, it was through these tough times that we were transformed into who and what we are today. We gained perseverance, integrity, and all the skills that led us to our academic excellence, athletic achievement, artistic sensibility, and spiritual formation. Finally, now we gather together here after all these years returning triumphantly back to our families and to the world at large, ready to make our mark on the world as we head out to college or wherever we may travel next. Each and every one of you has all accomplished something very special here, whether that be winning a state championship, participating in the myriad of plays or concerts that have been wonderfully produced by the Fine Arts Department, or even just meeting your own personal goals that you have set for yourself. Each and every one of you has become the hero of your own high school story. Now, our stories continue on, and while we may not know what lies ahead, I know that each one of us will continue to be our own hero, and that is something worth celebrating. Once again, congratulations, and I wish you all the best on the next step of your journey.
And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Superintendent of Catholic Schools, Dr. Diane Starkovich. My dear graduates of the class of 2019, Mr. Marks, Ms. Lancaster, faculty and staff of Blessed Trinity Catholic High School, parents, families, friends. As you know, last month, Archbishop Gregory was named the new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. As we gather here this afternoon, Archbishop Gregory is in Washington preparing for his installation next Tuesday. But for the next two days, he remains the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Atlanta. And while he cannot be with us this afternoon, he sends his congratulations, his well wishes, and his disappointment that he could not be here in person to celebrate this special day with you. Please know that he continues to pray for all of us as he leaves this wonderful archdiocese but today he offers a special prayer today for all of our graduating seniors. Perhaps it's fitting that I address you this afternoon on his behalf. I began as the superintendent of schools for the Archdiocese in May of 2006. In the fall of 2006, dear graduates, you entered kindergarten. And you were in one of our archdiocesan, most of you in our archdiocesan Catholic grade schools. So you see, we began this journey together, many of us, 13 years ago. And I think I can say to you, we made it. Knowing that the graduating class of 2019 is the first class that I have had the privilege of following from the time you entered kindergarten to today's graduation ceremonies, one of your elementary principals sent me a picture of me reading to your class in kindergarten in the fall of 2006. We both commented on how cute you were. And then we agreed, you're still cute. <laughs> but more importantly, you have grown into young women and men of faith of courage, of dedication, and of great accomplishments. Today, we will have graduated 571 seniors from our three archdiocesan high schools. These 571 seniors have garnered more than $67 million of academic scholarships as they enter college this fall. On average, then, each graduate would have received scholarships in excess of $117,000. Those do not include, by the way, those dollars do not include the Georgia Hope, which is offered to any of our students, our high-performing students, who will attend a public university in the state of Georgia this fall. During your four years here, your parents have sacrificed and paid tuition and fees at approximately $55,000. When considering the return on the investment for these tuition dollars, parents, your children have made you proud. They have returned to you more than two times the amount you invested in their academic preparation and their faith formation. To the faculty and staff of Blessed Trinity Catholic High School seated behind me on behalf of Archbishop Gregory, we thank you for your caring and dedicated service to these graduates. Your high standards and excellent teaching have prepared them well to enter college this fall. As they enter the next phase of their academic journey, we pray that our graduates will remember and take with them our faith and the Catholic worldview, which has surrounded and supported them every day through their four years of high school. In 1 Corinthians, we are reminded, be watchful, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. God love all of you, God bless all of you and best wishes to the class of 2019.
There is only one award given at graduation, and that is the Archbishop's Award. This award is given to one female and one male graduate who best exemplify excellence in theology coursework, service, and involvement in the religious life of our school. Dr. Starkovich, I am pleased to present to you the winners of this year's Archbishop's Award, Kathleen O'Donnell and James Mancini. The valedictorian of the class of 2019, by virtue of his academic standing as first in his class with a 102 grade point average, is James Mancini. <laughs> James excels in numerous and varied academic endeavors and over the past four years has been recognized as the top student in the school in the study of AP Human Geography, AP World History, AP Microeconomics, Biology Honors, Chemistry Honors, Geometry Honors, Algebra Two Honors, English One Honors, French Three, French Four Honors, Morality and Prayer, Robotics, Introduction to Law, and Health and Driver's Education. James was named an AP Scholar with distinction by the College Board and has been recognized as a National Merit Finalist, placing him in the top 1% of American high school seniors. James was a silver medalist on the National French Exam in 2016, 17, and 18. He was selected by the faculty as the Harvard University Book Award recipient, was nominated for the Governor's Honors Program in the study of social studies, and scored a perfect 36 on the ACT exam, and was selected as the primary representative for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Conference in 2017. This year, James was named as the co-star student, recognizing him for excellence in academics and in his performance on the SAT examination. James has made the summa cum laude honor roll every semester was the president of the BT chapter of the National Honor Society and is a member of the National English Honor Society. James is a two-sport athlete, competing in both cross country, for which he was the varsity captain, and track and field. In 2019, he was named the Georgia High School Association Male Student Athlete of the Year recognizing him for both his athletic and academic achievements. James has a heart for charity and helping others. His service opportunities have included helping to resettle refugees, various food and clothing drives, and a mission trip to Peru. James earned his Eagle Scout, which included various service projects, James was awarded the Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati Award for a young man whose life is marked by his love for God, leadership of others, and acts of charity. James will attend the University of Notre Dame this fall. I am pleased to introduce to you the valedictorian of the class of 2019, 
James Ryan Mancini. Howdy. It's hard to believe we've made it to this moment, but we have. First of all, I want to extend my gratitude to everyone who made it possible for us to walk across this stage. To our teachers and coaches, you have inspired us to work hard, directed us to seek out our life passions, and blessed us with an occasional homework-free weekend. <laughs> to our parents and family, beyond simply giving us the opportunity to attend BT, you have been by our sides for every moment from giving us advice when we were lost freshmen, to encouraging us to keep pushing when senioritis had kicked in. Thank you. To my classmates, my friends, my BT family, we couldn't have made it without each other. Again, howdy. I think a lot of you may know that howdy is my favorite word. I love the word for two reasons. First, simply it's different. Hello is too boring. More importantly though, Howdy encourages people to talk. It makes them smile and starts conversations. Since it's impossible for me to think of another word that best defines me, I want to speak to you through the terms of howdy. The first letter, H, for heart. As passionate, strong people, we have a lot of heart. This passion has enabled us to overcome immense obstacles. We have lost fathers, mothers, siblings, friends, and faculty members. Some of us have struggled with debilitating illnesses or conditions that have made it hard to wake up with a smile. What amazes me, though, is that in these dark moments, our heart shines forth. We have tackled these challenges with courage, faith, and trust in God. I have witnessed the profound friendship, care, and love that our class has shown one another. Teams have come together in support for those who have lost loved ones. Friends have walked alongside each other, raising money for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And there are countless other examples. Our class possesses that special heart where I know that even in college, we will always be there to support each other. Oh, on top of the world, our class is insanely talented and successful. And we have accomplished so much in our time here, including 10 state championships. I do have to say, though, that the most sweet of these championships was watching our football team beat Marist in their stadium in 2017. We have a nationally ranked state champion swimmer in Dillon and an undefeated three-time state champion wrestler in Vince. The girls lacrosse and baseball teams are incredible. We have all state athletes fine arts scholarship recipients, and incredible people in the robotics department who built a tiny home for a veteran in need. Throughout the years, by coming out on top, our class has become infamous around the state and even the country. W, where did the time go? These four years have gone by quickly, and freshman year seems like a distant memory. Walking down to cross country in May 2015, I was starting a long career with Mr. Greg Johnson, with a lot of, ah, that'll be good, and lift the knees, drive the arms. <laughs> Getting into the swing of things, we all had our favorite extracurriculars, whether it was sports, robotics, or the arts. Speaking of the arts, from playing Sergeant Fogarty in Chicago to watching the dance show this spring, I was always amazed at the talent and hard work of those involved in the arts and expressing beautiful, powerful performances. Over the course of four years, we survived CMLA more or less in one piece, and Kevin may disagree. <laughs> the 2016 presidential election, the SNAP, and the Atlanta Falcons' heartbreaking loss. The time has certainly flown by. D, devotion. We've been through a lot and accomplished a lot, but I'm also amazed by our desire to make a difference in the world. Will Griffin, your commitment to supporting those with special needs is really powerful. Caroline, Charlotte, and many others, you have dedicated so much of your time and effort to raise money to support childhood cancer patients that it's inspiring. Through Ignite, 
the March for Life, mission trips, Surf for a Cure, and more, we have shared special moments with each other and had the beautiful opportunity to grow in our devotion to God and living a Christian life. I pray we will continue to live this life of devotion wherever we go. Finally, why? For yes. Yes, you can. Each one of us has the ability to accomplish any dream. For example, I cannot wait to tell other middle-aged men that the legendary MLB shortstop C.J. Abrams was in my Goretti family. <laughs> each of us is embarking on a different path. And along each path, I encourage you to carry the same heart and yes attitude that you carried here. Whether at St. Andrews, USC, Georgia Southern, or Colin doing missionary work in Africa, don't give up on saying yes, giving your all, and sharing your heart with others. Hebrews chapter 12 says we should persevere in running the race that lies before us. If we do this, the BT class of 2019 is unstoppable. I am forever grateful for the guidance, skills, mentors, friends, and memories I have fostered here, and I will look back at my time here with great fondness. Lastly, I think howdy works like aloha, and that it conveys both hello and goodbye. So with that, congratulations to the class of 2019. Howdy. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you a distinguished alumna. Katie Peterson Warner is a 2007 graduate of Blessed Trinity. While at Blessed Trinity, Katie was the president of the National Honor Society, the vice president of the Key Club, a student ambassador, an orientation leader, a governor's honors program nominee, and the recipient of many departmental awards. At the awards assembly in her senior year, she was awarded the AJC Cup for being the best all-around senior. The next day at graduation, she received the prestigious Archbishop's Award. Katie went on to graduate from Kennesaw State University with a bachelor's degree in communication and a minor in public relations. Later, she earned a master's degree in theology from Augustine Institute. Today, Katie is a national Catholic speaker and a published author of nonfiction and children's books. She is a television series host on Eternal Word Television Network, a correspondent for the National Catholic Register, and the communication manager for Catholics Come Home, an international evangelization apostolate. But Katie is most proud of the fact that she is a wife and a mother of three children, ages five, three, and one. I am pleased to introduce to you Katie Peterson Warner. What a blessing it is to be back at my own alma mater, witnessing this milestone day for all of you soon to be graduates. I'd like to share three brief thoughts with you this afternoon as you begin the next chapter of your adventure. First, have the courage to believe in and stand up for objective truth. When you go to college or venture into the workplace, you'll likely be told that truth can be different for everyone. This usually sounds something like, you can have your truth and I can have my truth, but don't impose your views, your morality on me. Instead, have the courage to believe in objective truth. Objective truth can't change based on someone's individual perception. And objective truth is universal, true for every person. When you believe in objective truth, you see the world as it really is. Your Catholic education has taught you to do this. And while others try to sway you towards subjective truth, a truth that changes with your feelings, with current trends, or with a desire not to ruffle any feathers, dare to be counter-cultural and to believe that truth, especially moral truth, cannot change. Truth, unlike ice cream, has no flavor of the month. Be brave in your defense of the truth and remember that standing for truth isn't about being intolerant or judgmental, but always about love, true freedom, and clear thinking. And when in doubt, if you're not sure what objective truth is in a given situation, 
call Father Tron. <laughs> Second, strive for authenticity, for realness in our digital age. The smartphone isn't going anywhere, but what will start to disappear in our lives if we aren't careful in this digital age is authenticity. Allow me to offer you a challenge. When you're having a moment you never want to forget, once in a while, just soak it in the natural way. Live fully in that present moment. And don't worry about, with sh don't worry about sharing it with everyone you know and don't know, or capturing the perfect photo of it. Maybe the memory was meant just for you. Secondly, have authentic relationships and encounters. Whether it's with family, friends, someone you are falling in love with, or even the cashier in the market checkout line, have real, uninterrupted conversations. Make eye contact. Take time to develop face-to-face -face relationships with people who fill you up, ask you hard questions, encourage you, and help you become your authentic self. Third and finally, look up. A woman went skydiving and, after making that grand jump off the plane, started panicking as she looked toward the ground below, gripped by the fear that comes when you're totally not in control. That is, until she remembered the important words of her instructor, don't forget to look up. When I left Blessed Trinity, I had a 10-year plan. I was going to the only college I applied to, because I was sure it was the absolute right fit for me, receive the only degree I thought I'd ever need, later get my doctorate and be a professor at a prestigious school. At some point, I'd probably get married and have a kid or two, but of course I'd do so while maintaining a high level of success in my work. I'll skip to the end of the story. None of that happened, at least not in that way or in that order or at all how I pictured or planned it. 12 years after I made that plan, I see that God had a different plan, a much better one. And that better plan, the far more adventurous, far more fulfilling one, couldn't have unfolded like it did if I didn't keep my eyes and my heart on him. Stay close to your Catholic faith. Never leave the sacraments, which help direct your gaze up. Pray every day to discover and rediscover, if you're a slow learner like I am, God's will for you. Be prepared to let God surprise you as you follow him down some crazy, unexpected roads that will lead you to far greater happiness than you ever thought possible. If you take one thing with you as you walk out of the doors of Blessed Trinity today for what will at least symbolically be the last time, let that one thing be your Catholic faith. The one thing that makes your Catholic education most unique an education that has hopefully taught you that in God's eyes, there are no AP students, no jocks, no drama kids and band students, no popular or unpopular kids. There's just you. Irreplaceable, totally unique you, whom God loves and holds in existence every moment of every day you're here because he has a plan for you, just you a plan that nobody can live like you can. Now you get to do the fun part and go find out what it is. Just don't forget to look up. Having completed the requirements of Blessed Trinity Catholic High School, the following members of the class of 2019 are presented to Superintendent Starkovich for the awarding of their diplomas, the outward symbol of their accomplishments. Dr. Starkovich and Dr. Urbanski, please take your places for the conferring of the individual diplomas to the graduates. I ask that Jack Milani, president of the senior class, please come forward. Fellow members of the class of 2019, receiving your diploma marks a significant milestone and change in your life. One symbol of that change is the moving of the tassel from the right side of the cap to the left. Please join me now as we do that in preparation for the receiving of our diplomas.
so that all names could be heard clearly by everyone present and out of respect for Dr. Sarkovich's presence and her desire to personally congratulate every graduate, we ask that you refrain from the applause and other expressions of approval until all diplomas have been awarded. At that time, I would ask that those of you in the gym make noise that those who are watching this ceremony being streamed live in the theater do not need the live stream to be able to hear you. But until all the names have been called, please hold off. James Ryan Mancini. Gabriella Lee Barry. Jack Perry Milani. Lucille Elizabeth Abale. Paul Christopher Abrams, Jr. Benjamin Charles Adrian. Alexandra Marie R. Brooke Elizabeth Apple. Mary Elizabeth Arnold. Kaylee Ann Attaway. Sarah Gail Bailey. Vincent Eugene Baker III. Jaina Alexis Barden. Isabel Catherine Barnard. Catherine Hanlon Barnes. Teresa Jane Baskell. Alexander Charles Bauer. Nathaniel Preston Baysmore. Taylor Brooke Bean. Grant Michael Beckman. James David Bertrand. Maria Christina Betts. Ansley Rose Biggs. Jack Henry Berth. Matthew David Bishotti. William J. Bivens, Jr. Judith Margaret Boshear. Juliana Nicole Bachnight. Hannah Elizabeth Bradford. William Collier Brown III. Reese Walker Brunette. Emma Catherine Bultice. Joshua Thomas Burke. Caroline Taylor Calicut. Margaret Grace Camerari. Sophie Nicole Carlson. Luca Andrew Chella. 
Donovan Steele Chambers. Ethan Michael Chauvin. John B. Cleveland. Florencia Cluatra. Catherine Elizabeth Collar. Margaret Catherine Colloran. Emma Jane Corner. Natalie Noel Cody. Nicholas Christopher Cover. Kevin Thomas Cragen. Clayton Coulter Coran. Ethan Alexander Davila Hernandez. Ryan Patrick Davis. Jordan Rosa de Tristan Durantes. Michael Louis Delfino. Maria Eugenia DeMarco. <laughs> Charlotte Hagen Dempsey. Lisa Jockney Diamond. Michael Thomas Diamond. Kayla Brooke De Prima. Tristan Aylward Dolazar. Cornelius John Donnelly. Abigail Renee Dorley. Carmen Cecilia Dorr. Dylan Alexander Downing. Colin Matthew Doyle. Megan Rose Drabick. Timothy Francis Driscoll III. Evan Crawford Duell. Kyle Mark Dugan. Trent Robert Dumont. Faith Gwendolyn Dunn. Catherine Ann Dykes. Jack Meyer Herbs. Diego Esparza. Olivia Tate Etheridge. Alexis Maki Abike Izaini. Alexander Leon Fairley. Kara May Fallberg. Charles Joseph Ferranti. Tara Danielle Fierce. Andrew Jeffrey Flynn. Yes. 
Aiden Nicole Foley. Haven Nicole George. Morgan Elizabeth Giddings. Mason Riley Glavin. Benjamin Alexander Gomez. Connor J. Green. Grace Marie Greer. William Gregory Griffin. Jacob Richard Gruka. David Andres Guevara. Leo Nicholas Guthrie. Samuel Jabron Hagley IV. Ryan Andrew Hain. Robert Emmett Hawks IV. Heather Nicole Halepin. Katie Carson Hart. Haley Alex Harvey. Harrison John Hefner. Charles Gregory Heller. Brian Robert Hernan. Ada Marie Hernandez. Ansley Maria Hernandez. Harrison Walter Hoke. Megan Hoitzma. Bailey Elizabeth Holland. Ethan Patrick Holtzhouse. Ryan James Hunt. Katie Elizabeth Mary Heinekamp. John Michael Jacobs. Justin Andrew Janowitz. Aniston Rose Genos. Luis Javier Jimenez. Cameron K. Johns. Rebecca Jean Jones. Ryan Foster Jones. Henry James Joseph. Avery Grace Kanamasu. Nicholas Ryan Caraviti. Rebecca Catherine Keneally. Evan Richard Kennedy. Peyton Robert Kennedy. Harrison Graham King.
Olivia Nicole Kitko. Ryan Michael Kosar. Christian Conry Kalowich. Benjamin David Cornick. Jacob Tyler Krofcheck. Ansley Ann Kudlada. Cole Lewis Lagarde. Grace Ann Lassane. Julie Thomas Lawson. Thomas Joseph Michael Leach. Sophia Natalia Lecky. Aaron Kimberly Lemon. Catherine Ann Leonard. Emmett Robert Lepp. Graham Thompson Leslie. Elizabeth Grace Lewis. Patrick Vaughn Yemizelis. Valentina Sofia Lopez. Jacob Michael Lyons. Anna Grace McDonald. William Paul Macalino. Joseph Drayton Manigo. Lauren Michelle Moresca. William Henry Marin. Sarah Jennings Marsden. Tyler James Martin. Sarah Bailey Massa. Alexander Stevens Massey. Avens Caroline Matson. Adelaide Connolly McCabe. Mia Iwan McClure. Aaron Rose McDaniel. Aiden Marie McDonough. Hannah Christina McDermott. Mackenzie Christine McIntyre. Patrick Joseph McLaughlin. Madison Rose McNamara. Eliana Marie McNeil. Olivia Isabel McWhorter.
Elena Grace Mellet. Beth Nicole Miller. Tate Hausman Mills. Robert Winston Montgomery III. Eric Christopher Moore. Samantha Venezia Moore. Alec Thomas Mudry. Elizabeth Jane Murphy. Nicholas Randall Murphy. Charlotte Rose Nemec. Andrew S. Nickel. Aaron Marissa Nix. Marielle Dominic Nixon. Catherine Ruth Nowicki. Kathleen Elizabeth O'Donnell. Margaret Elizabeth O'Neill. Mercedes Sue O'Cray. Thomas Anthony Osorio. Thomas James Pacer. Olivia Rose Palmieri. Elena Barbara Para. Gabriella Olivia Para. Christina Alexis Payne. McKenna Curtis Pearson. Caroline Grace Pedersen. Kelsey Marie Phillips. Julia Lind Pluhar. Alexander Robert Poma. Madeline Grace Hamling Puckett. Samuel Braxton Pugmire. Ariana Drew Puyals. Robert Ryan Riley. Mitchell John William Reynolds. Maitland Grace Reardon. William Morris Rogers V. Grace Aileen Ryan. Ricardo Andres Santa Maria Sarcos. 
Madeline Jane Schott. Luke D'Amato Shire. Liliana Maria Cedarlin. Dominic Anthony Segro. Harrison Andrew Shaw. Matthew Ryan Shaw. Michael Joseph Schinholster. Carolyn Judith Shipley. Marley Elizabeth Scholdice. Laura Cameron Sims. Benjamin Perez Smith. Jake Alexander Smith. Sean Christopher Smith. Wesley Richard Smith. John Michael Solar. Colby James Sen Stalkup. John Dalton Staley. Jessica Rose Stevens. John Paul Stevens. Joseph Robert Stevens. Addison Taylor Stevens. Connor Lendrum Stockenberg. Kaylin Connolly Stoke. Jason William Stern. Jack P. Sullivan. Andrew John Swade. Catherine Rose Tanaka. David James Tassan Santa. <laughs> Julia Michelle Terrell. Mary Ellison Thomas. Kevin Joseph Trainer, Lucy Joe Shedergoss, Dylan James Urich, Alix Marie Valerie. Evan Curtis Wagner. Jack Ryan Wagner. Jack Matthew Wallace. Andrew Thomas Wagoblin. Sydney K. Weber.
Natalie Ann Weiss. Taylor May White. Marissa Maria Whitfield. Bailey Jane Warness. Greta Margaret Wood. Haley McCarthy Warsfold. Emerson Ryan Robleski. Lauren Elizabeth Yates. Colin Michael Zabrowski. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Blessed Trinity Catholic High School Class of 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to please remain standing so Father Bob may give a blessing to the graduates. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Good and gracious God, we give thanks and praise for these young men and women now setting forth on a brand new horizon from their alma mater. May they do us proud. May you keep them uh, strong with courage, close to you. Keep them safe. Help them to be salt and leaven in the world, to make a difference for the greater glory of God and for the helping of humanity. Help them to discern the vocation, to follow that with passion, and to continue to build one another up in faith, hope, and cheer. May God bless you all this day. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God the Father, God the Son. God, the Holy Spirit, inspire our works. May the blessed Trinity be praised and adored. Now and